Hello and welcome to Wheels Wheels and today, well, it's still a threat of rain in Kansas City, not a lot of car shows going on. So what we have here is a 1979 Ford Fairmont that belongs to Straight Six Man. Hey. Hey, Grant. hey, welcome, Will. Grant's bought his car to me in hopes to uh, try to clean it up a little bit. So we're going to take a walk around and evaluate the paint and uh, see what it looks like. So hang on. So we got some faded oxidized paint. This is single stage paint. So hopefully we might be able to uh, buff this out a little bit if uh, Grant's got time to hang around. Uh, some of this stuff, I'm not sure about what it is or what we can or can't get out. But we're gonna give it a shot. Vinyl roof. Really though, the car's in great shape. You don't see any rust on the car or anything. Looks really good. So we're going to follow some proper washing techniques and uh, see what we can do about this. Well, Grant, I think the best thing is to just uh, get this thing a good solid wash. We'll start, we'll work our way from the top down, but actually I like to work with the tires first, get that out of the way, and then we'll, we'll give it a foam bath, give it a good rinse of foam bath, and uh, do a contact wash and see what we can and can't remove, and we'll go from there. I highly recommend getting one of these for washing your car. You can pick them up at Walmart. They uh, will help reduce your water spots on your car a, a lot. They work really well. There's only one thing I recommend you do though. When these things are new and you first turn them on, black charcoal will come out. So we want to make sure that we flush that out before we ever get started. And I did this a while ago. Yeah, that's a little black right there. It gets clear again. Just make sure you do that. I use a one bucket method. I know people are going to hate me for this, but I believe in working clean. There's no sense in two buckets, three buckets, four buckets. You know there are actually people out there now who put seven microfiber towels in their bucket, one to do each panel, and then they throw the microfiber towel in the laundry. I just don't get it. There's no sense in that. Just work clean. Rinse your stuff off, wring it out before you put it back in the bucket. You'll be fine. Will, how like how big of an area do you prefer to I see you just kind of wet it down and then now we're scrubbing what's your yeah my idea is I always want to go in and get the bugs off the front of the car and off the windshield because bugs are very acidic and the longer you leave them on your paint they'll just eat through the clear coat or your single stage stuff so I like to get those off first and then I stay low I stay the grill the window the windshield then I'm gonna work with the tires I get the very dirtiest parts of the vehicle here my rockers yeah, yeah. And then we'll change, we'll change everything out, rinse everything out, and then we'll switch and, and go to a different place. Awesome. I like to start with a wheel wheel brush and then scrub. This isn't gonna get everything, but it's gonna get a lot of it. And you don't put it back in the bucket. This is the part I'm talking about. Oh, oh crap. Outtake. It's the part I'm talking about working clean. Shake it off. Then put it back in. Don't want no hate. Take some super clean, spray the surface of the tire rubber. You want to get a hard bristle brush. See how this is brown? You want to scrub this and do it as many times as it needs to until it's actually white. So we'll do the old rinse. lather, rinse, and repeat. This stool's going to be just half me. How far do you dilute your super clean? Truthfully, I don't. Don't. I not for not for tires and stuff. If it was for, <coughs> excuse me, 
if I was doing it like an APC for the interior or something, then I might dilute it. Yeah. Maybe a, a one to ten ratio or something. But it, if not for YouTube, I'd be detailing each one of my cars each weekend. One on Saturday, <laughs> one on Sunday. And now YouTube's taking up all my time, so that kind of stuff has moved to the week and it's been raining so much lately. It's been crazy. Yeah, we totally lucked out. Got some sun today. So, Will, I was trying to explain on camera on the way out, you kind of got into the car show, or your channel's based around going to car shows because you used to be the guy who always went to the car shows with your car, man, you had detailed and- Oh, yeah, so absolutely. So, just talk a little bit about how did you actually, what's the origin of your, your channel? Well, it started out exactly like, like, exactly like Grant said. I uh, started off with a 2007 Shelby GT, uh, which, was a very rare car to start with, and then we uh, took it to Dallas, had a supercharger upgrade done on it, turned it into a, super, a Shelby GT slash SC. It's one of less than 200 cars. And then uh, we did the car show thing in Grand Forks, North Dakota. I, they actually made me be president of the car club up there for whatever reason, but we had a lot of fun going around to a ton of different car shows. The car won a lot of awards, and of course it was black. And like I say with anything, the color black on a car, it's not a color, it's a part-time job. <laughs> so to try to keep the scratches and swirls out of it, you definitely have to run proper uh, washing techniques in order to do that. And then uh, boss called me up one day, says, how'd you like to move to Kansas City to open, an, open up an office? I said, how fast can you get me out of the cold? <laughs> so I had to sell that to get the equity out of the car to make the move to Kansas City. And then we got here and I wound up buying a uh, 2012 Laguna Seca Boss 302. And, uh, we did the car show thing with that for a little while, but I just didn't have the horsepower that Shelby had. So my dumb butt took it up to car performance in Des Moines, uh, Des Moines Iowa and put twin turbos on it. The worst thing I've ever done to a car. 720 horsepower, 600 at the rear wheel, R, 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 till you stomp on the gas and roast the tires going everywhere. So finally decided to sell that car and uh, started watching YouTube videos. And I thought, well, you know what? I wonder if I could do that and picked up a camera and. My first show was in June of 2019, I think it was, at the Great Car Show. And uh, yeah, started it that way. So we have a tri level foam cannon with our mega, mega foam out of soap. It takes four ounces of the soap. I've already pre marked my container there. And then we'll just top the rest off with distilled water. I prefer to use distilled water. You don't have to, you can use tap water, but I found distilled water helps it foam a little better. Now I'm not looking for a shaving cream type foam. I'm looking for more of a runny foam so that the foam does its job and attaches itself to whatever dark part is left off the car and drags them along with it, encapsulates them and drags them down. bristle brush on top of the, uh, the vinyl cover, see if we can get that clean. What do you think, Will? Well, we've got it cleaner than it was. I guess the path we go down next is going to kind of be up to you. Um, and at this point, Grant and I went in the garage to discuss what we were going to do with the paint job on his car. And, uh, got to, well, we got to fixing the world's problems and completely forgot to uh, 
to tell you what we were going to do with the paint on the car, which was nothing. We left it alone. It's a 42-year-old original Survivor paint job. Now, we probably could have knocked some of the oxidation off the paint, but, but to be honest, it was really thin in a few places, and I was just really concerned that we might burn through the paint. So we left it alone. We left it true to the, uh, to the, to the car itself. Now, the purpose of this video was to do a collaboration with Grant Tommy, whose YouTube channel is called Straight Six Fan, and try to share my audience with him and, my, and his audience with me type of thing. So I'm going to leave the description to his channel in the link below. And check it out. If you like it, subscribe. I know he would really appreciate that. His channel is all about offbeat hot rodding. He, he does really like the OPEC generation of cars. And he goes around, he shows you how to fix problems on the car. And he also shows you the pitfalls and what happens when things just don't go as planned at times. So with that being said, I'm going to close out the video. Just please remember to like, share, comment, and hit that subscribe button down there if you liked it. And as always, hang loose, keep the shiny side up. Thanks.